hi guys welcome back to net to my channel so in this example what we are going to see is if you want to update some items which are already existing so to update items you can also you put uh, you can also use put uh, item functions but over here we are going to use item update item function so let's go ahead and check the official documentation what exactly it does so to create the script first go ahead and jump on to the editor over here let's create a new python file So let's name this Python file as Dynamo DB Update. Okay. So if I go back to official documentation, so let's go to the home page. So over here we are going to use the service resource. So let's invoke the service resource from here into our code. So after invoking it, what we will have to do is we will have to get the uh, data of the table. So right now we are going to make modification that we are going to update the items for employee table. So for employee table, currently there are three records which already exist one, two, three. If you can see over here. So now what we are going to do is we are going to invoke the table. So for invoking the table, if I go to official documentation, just click on this table. So if I in this table I will use this so over here instead of name we are going to mention our table name employee so after mentioning our table name employee we will we are going to use update item so update item is a sub resource of table so if I come over here if you can see there is a function named update item if I click on update item it says that edits an existing item attribute or adds a new item into the table if does not exist you can put delete or add attribute values so over here also we can add the attribute values while updating the item so for example what I what do I, do I mean by that so right now you can see there are only two attributes name and salary so instead of name and salary if I want to add a new attribute which would be, which would be email I can add that by using this function so over here so this function has a key which is required this is mandatory and if you see the what value we are going to get a return it is going to return a dictionary and this dictionary is going to hold all these values so over here we would be interested in attributes so we would be printing the attribute to understand what exactly is being updated so now if i go over here let's go step by step I will just copy this done now as per the documentation if you can see key is monetary I will mention key is equal to so under key you would have to mention this dictionary so over here I will mention id done. three so guys what let's do uh, what we can do is uh, right now if I go to the DynamoDB table over here for the ID 3 we have salary as 3000 instead of 3000 we'll make it as 6000 that is uh, what we will update over here in this example okay so now in update item we have mentioned as per the documentation yes the key so after using the key we are not going to use attribute updates why we are going, not going to use it if you can see over here it's mentioned this is a legacy parameter use update expression instead so instead of using that we are going to use update expression so let's go to update expression so this is update expression so an expression that defines one or more attributes to be updated the action to be performed on them and the new values so this update uh, action values have set if not exist list append these are the three things it has under this and this function names are case sensitive so what we can do so suppose if i want to use set i cannot use in lower case it is case sensitive it should be in upper case itself so uh, let me go ahead and use this so they have given one example over here this is how you define it okay set okay so what i will do i will use the update expression over here in our code 
after the update expression so under update expression we are going to mention so if i go back over here if you see update expression and in this update expression we will have to define it update expression okay so it is over here so you will have to define it as string so as we have to define it as string i will use double quotes over here and in that i will use set so we have to modify the salary so the salary equal to over here i will mention it as s so now after mentioning that s now i will go ahead and use the expression attribute value so what is expression attribute value let me show this is the expression attribute value that you have to define so i will just copy this expression attribute value and over here equal to so now over here we are going to mention expression attribute what is expression attribute let's go to the documentation expression attribute okay so this is expression attribute value so if you see over here uh, as i as you saw i created a small uh, parameter named s that we are going to use to notify what value we are going to change so in expression attribute value we are going to define the value so over there we create uh, created uh, we have uh, in our code we have mentioned that we are going to modify this attribute now in this we are going to define the value for this specific attribute that we are going to modify so what uh, value we are going to modify over here is so for s colon s over here that we have defined colon as you can see over here in the documentation value would be 20 not 20 i will keep it as 6000 that's it so what we have did over here we have used update expression where we have defined salary that we are going to update then this salary we have given uh, the value for this salary that we have defined in update expression now i will go and i will print response and inside response we have to search for attributes which is mentioned over here so these are the attributes so now i will just clear this clear all so if i go back to my console i will just refresh it as you can see right now the salary is 3000 i will just go ahead and run this program Okay, so let me see what mistake I have made. Oh, sorry. So I have failed to mention the return values over here. See. use return values if you want to get the item attribute as they appear before or after they are updated so if you want to view the attribute we have to use return values so in return values there are different different options none all old update old all new so i'm going to use update new so i will just use this return values parameter over here and under this return value equal to So let's perform a comma over here. Let's go back, update it. Yes. Done. So let's revisit our code. So over here we have defined the key. So we just remove the spaces so it is easy for you to see all expression at one. So over here, what I have done, I have mentioned key update expression so key is 3 so we are going to set the salary over here as 6000 okay okay 
salary over here is 6000 and print attributes okay so let me do this okay so there is one error let me check what exactly is error self parent and calling the update item so that seems to be one error so over here if we revisit our code the animal db research animal db table is equal to animal db table employee response is equal to table dot update item then we have key then we have update expression set salary equal to s and salary that it is going to return okay So if we look at the error, it is saying invalid type for parameter expression attribute names. Okay, so that is the issue. So over here is we have mentioned expression attribute names. If I go back to documentation, I have copied wrong. It should be expression attribute values. So that was my mistake that I copied. So if I mentioned over here expression attribute value now I will run this code so let's run this code so see it has updated the salary if I go back to our official documentation oh sorry to our DynamoDB console so now I will just see over here right now it is showing 3000 just refresh it see it has been updated to 6000 so that's it for this uh, session guys so over here what we used we used update table and in update table we updated our salary from 3000 to 6000 thank you for joining the session have a great day